Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Jeff Brook, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Sports Side News Baseball Show. As we talk about Carlos Rodon getting a two year deal, a very smartly done year wise deal by the San Francisco Giants. Two years for $44 million bucks uh, to Carlos Rodon, <clears throat> um, who coming into last season, uh, he was, uh, he did have a tremendous breakout campaign, but he was a guy who was non-tendered by the White Sox coming into last season, then signed for $3 million, had that ridiculous breakout campaign where he finished fifth in the Cy Young with a 2.37 ERA and a 2.63 FIP. But the big thing we have to remember with Rodon um, is he also, towards the back end of the season, he only did pitch 132 and two-thirds innings because he started getting shoulder fatigue in August. That's why I think the two years is perfect for this deal, because this is the guy you hope replaces Kevin Gosman, and they had Kevin Gosman for a couple years, and then they went on to find somebody else, who is Carlos Rodon, where you don't want to, you don't want to kind of put yourself in a bad spot, is probably the right way to put it, if you're the Giants, by giving him a four-year deal, or something like that, because you don't know when it comes to his health and how many innings he can really give you in a season. He gave the White Sox great innings of the 132 plus last year, but you would like more out of a guy to the level of Carlos Rodon's pitching th- that has the good breaking uh, off-speed pitches of Carlos Rodon, has the great location artist ability of Carlos Rodon. You would like somebody like that to be able to pitch deeper into a season and deeper innings-wise. So we we'll have to see how that comes with the Giants. But also with the Giants, the flip side is Gabe Kapler's team. Usually if you get them five and five innings, five and two-thirds, and just have that great then they're set too, so he might just be in a perfect spot for himself as well, so he doesn't have that arm fatigue, where the White Sox, obviously, with the old school manager of La Russa, they have more of a push-it mentality, where when it comes to uh, Kapler's team, whether it was with Di Scalfani or Logan Webb or whatever, it's kind of like, get me five, five and two-thirds, and we're set, where they have a really good, this team has a really good underrated rotation right now, because you got Alex Cobb coming in there, who had a good season last year, and is now coming into the Giants, who did really well with pitchers last year. You got Di Scalfani, they were able to keep, who did amazing. Uh, they got him going in tenfold last year. Uh, they also um, have uh, Logan Webb, of course, and then Alex Wood, and then now you add Carlos Rodon uh, to probably be your five going into the season. That is very good, and then in the bullpen, you have Alvarez, you got Beatty, uh, you still got Latell, obviously, Dominic Leone. Uh, this team is setting themselves up to have a very good pitching staff, yet again, just as they did last year, with some of not the sexiest big-name wow-you-off-the-sheet um, players, but they have very good players at that that are going to form a good five-man rotation, where I would think Rodon coming in has the... Um, advantage if he can come in and get going quickly and report, I don't know, by the end of the week or by the start of next week, has the advantage to maybe be the opening day guy just because of the absolute filthy ability he has with his uh, breaking pitches, his good uh, off-speed pitch in terms of a change-up, etc., etc., and being able to just dot the zone that he's developed himself into uh, down there in Chi-Town now that he's going to bring that to San Francisco. I think this is a great move. Two years is the exact year total you want to give somebody that you have a little bit concerns on fatigue and injury and how deep they can go into a season. So two years is perfect. He fills out that five-man rotation exceptionally well. And if something does happen, the or not the Dodgers, the Giants do have depth pieces uh, in their minor leagues that they could bring up to fill in if Rodon does need a spell here or there. But everybody have a great, safe, pleasant day. This has been a video on Carlos Rodon signing the Giants for two years, 44 mil, very smartly done by the Giants, very smart year total, and a great job to bring somebody in to replace losing Kevin Galsman, which they, of course, did before uh, the lockout came into effect. So everybody stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of the, um, well, it's not really the off season, but the beginning of spring training as a bunch of moves are being made as the season starts on April 7th. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.